Hello friends. In this video, we are going to be talking about nine types of out of memory errors. Friends, there is actually nine planets in our solar system. There is some belief in certain cultures that the position or the orbit of these planets has an influence on your body and mind and your thought process. Let me see after this talk whether how we go about approaching out of memory error, diagnosing that might have an influence on you. Right? Let's discuss that. Okay. First of all, people get surprised. Oh, are there nine different types of out of memory errors? What are they? How will I know what type of out of memory error am I getting? Right? Friends, first of all, to understand these nine types of out of memory errors, we need to understand what are the different JVM memory regions. Let's try to understand. Okay. Friends, your Java process memory has multiple regions. What are those regions? Are? Look at this. There is a primary region called as a heap memory which has a young generation, old generation. This accounts for most of the application. This is more than 80, 90 percentage of memory is accounted by this heap memory, right? So whenever I, as a developer, I write a code, new car object, say I create a new object. That object goes into this young generation. And if that object is going to be living for a longer duration, that goes into this old generation. And when you actually set XMX, that is the XMX is the argument, you pass your application to set your Java heap size. Like say you're setting it as a XMX as a 4 GB or a 10 GB. When you say that XMX, you are actually setting only the size of this heap memory. After that, there are other regions. What are those regions are? Those regions are coming from this native memory, right? What are those regions that goes into this native memory? The first region is meta space. Friends, there is to execute your program, your, your application, you need metadata, the class definitions, the metadata definitions which are required to execute your program. So those are stored in this meta space region, right? And after that, there is another region called the threads. So the threads are very integral part. Threads are needed to execute your application. Where are the memory for the threads are stored? They are stored in this threads region, right? After that, there is a region called code cache. Friends, the code that we write, as a developer we write, is not the actual code that's a, that gets executed by the JVM at runtime. The JVM does a lot of improvisations to your code. It optimizes the code for optimal performance. That needs memory. Where is that memory coming from? That memory is coming from this code cache region. And then the next region is called a direct buffer. Say sometimes you are directly dealing with, uh, say suppose you are using Java NIO, native IO operations. You are doing directly manipulating the files, right? Like you are trying to manipulate a large image files or certain JDBCs, they directly deal with IO operations. Those, they go into this direct buffer region, right? And the next region is called a GC. See, in Java, the garbage collection is automatic. To do that automatic garbage collection, the JVM needs memory. Where is that memory coming from? That memory is coming from this GC region. And then the next region is called a JNI. That is, say, suppose your application is talking with native processes, like a C, C++ processes. That needs memory. That memory is coming from this JNI region. And then I'm categorizing another one more thing called as a miscellaneous. That is certain JVM vendors, they have their own data structures, their own implementations to execute their JVM. They have those, they, they need some memory. They am boxing them as a miscellaneous region. So we have this multiple regions. Based on which region saturates, you an out of memory error gets thrown. So now let's see how this is important to understand what type of out of memory error you are getting. First of all, I will know, first of all, we need to know what type of out of memory error am I getting. Okay, friends, let me execute a simple hypothetical program which is going to simulate an out of memory error. Look at this. This is a program. It has a map manager. It has a Nash map. And here I'm going on an infinite while loop. I'm just going on an infinite while loop and I'm saying up to that Nash map, I'm adding key zero and large string zero and I'm incrementing the counter. And then I just keep on adding records infinitely because see, you see the infinite one loop I keep on adding so I keep on adding the objects to the memory and when I go beyond my memory limit I'm going to be thrown an out of memory error let me execute this program right now okay so now I executed now we are seeing this uh, it's getting printed every time a thousand records are inserted you're getting this reprinted okay so now you got out of memory error thrown friends Always, when we get out of memory error, look at this. We just see this part of the text, Java lang out of memory error. But 
going forward what you want to do is you want to be looking what is after this colon after this colon the jvm tells what type of out of memory error am i getting okay here in this case i got gc over at limit exceeded so like this it's here it's going to be printed what type of out of memory error you're getting based on this out of memory error your diagnosis approach will change your solution will change right so this is what you want to be looking at now let's dive to see what are the different type of out of memory errors so friends the first <coughs> type of out of memory error is out of memory error java heap space this error gets thrown when your young generation and old generation get saturated when your young generation old generation gets filled up and there is no more room to create new objects that's when java lang out of memory error java heap space is going to be thrown this is the first type of out of memory error now the second type of out of memory error is called as gc over at limit exceeded so this error also gets thrown when your young generation and old generation gets saturated the same same cost only when the young generation old generation gets saturated you are going to get this error so sometimes this error can happen the java heap space for the same program if you run the same program sometimes you may get the java heap space sometimes you may get the gc over at limit exceeded right it can jvm can throw interchangeably there is a subtle nuance you will understand the nuance of what it is in the later video right now the third type of out of memory error is called as requested array size exceeds the vm limit this type of out of memory error gets thrown when a developer tries to allocate a very large array size right here is an example let me try to show Let's look at this this is an example so here as a developer i'm trying to allocate an integer array of a very large size when i try to run this program see i'm going to be this i'm going to be thrown out of memory error requested array size exceeds the vm limit next type of out of memory error is called a java lang out of memory error meta space friends we saw the meta space is the region where the metadata definitions that are required to execute the program are stored and when this meta space region gets saturated when there are no more objects when there are no more room to create additional metadata this type of out of memory error gets thrown the next type of out of memory error the fifth type is called as a java lang out of memory error perm gen space friends the perm gen was the region which was there before java 7 it got replaced in java 8 by meta space so when so this is the perm gen serves as the same purpose as meta space that is it shows the metadata definitions that are required to execute a program and this error will not happen if you are running on java 8 and above so this will happen only if you are 7 and below so when the when there is no more room to allocate the metadata definition the perm gen this type of out of memory error gets thrown and then the sixth type of out of memory error is java lang out of memory error unable to create new native threads this type of out of memory error gets thrown when your threads region gets saturated that is when there is no more room to create threads in your application this error gets thrown and then the seventh type of out of memory error is when this direct buffer memory region that's where you store the direct when you do the nio java native io that's where you should deal with the direct io operations they they go into this direct buffer and when this region gets saturated you get this direct buffer out of memory error and then the eighth type of out of memory error happens sometimes your kernel the kernel the underlying operating system kernel can terminate your entire J jvm they can terminate your entire application because when there is a ram capacity when there is a scarce of ram capacity the kernel may decide okay this java process seems like a rogue process or if there is a lack of ram so the eighth type of out of memory error is called as a kill process or sacrifice child it sounds a little harsh right so this happens when the kernel when the sometimes the kernel can make a decision that it, there is a lack of ram capacity so i'm going to terminate this java process when it terminates you are going to confront this kill process or sacrifice child and the last type of out of memory error is called as a stack trace with native thread this happens only if you are using the native processes like your your jvm is connecting with the c c++ processes and executing something and if that c c++ process is having some issues in executing it then you are going to get this java lang out of memory error stack trace with native method so friends these are the nine different types of out of memory errors and if you want to learn about how to go about deep how to diagnose each and different type of out of memory errors 
how to forecast it how to deep dive how to diagnose it how to get to the root cause you may want to attend my jvm performance master class the link for that is given in the descri description thank you guys